It's the Anna's Hummingbird, and its winter range is actually growing on BC's south coast. That's because more and more people are providing the birds a good meal, even through the coldest months. And Linda Aylesworth has more. They are the hardy ones, the birds that, rather than migrate south, hunker down and spend the winter in BC. The stockpile seed in the tree bark in November, October and November, to get them through the winter. But birds don't have to be big to be tough. The Anna's hummingbird is as feisty and bold as they come. They're amazing creatures. I, I just love them. Seeing them in the winter time here in the snow and the freezing weather really uh, brings joy to your heart. Hard to believe that a creature weighing no more than a nickel can survive our winters. And yet they do, and in increasing numbers. Well, originally uh, they were sighted here in, uh, in West Van, Lighthouse Park. But in the 22 years that John Morton has owned the Wild Birds Unlimited store in North Vancouver, he's seen their range expand. As you can see from these pins, these are local sightings here in, on the North Shore, and they have actually expanded their range as far as Abbotsford up the valley. He believes one reason is that a growing number of people are putting up hummingbird feeders filled with homemade nectar that replicates what they'd be getting from flowers. So one cup of sugar to four cups of water in the summertime because they need the extra water for cooling as well. But in the winter, that ratio changes to one part sugar and just three parts water. The extra sugar gives them more energy, enabling them to keep their wings flapping a remarkable 80 times a second and their hearts beating up to 1,200 times a minute. But while it keeps the hummingbird warm, the nectar itself can freeze. What we recommend is that... Uh, they bring the hummingbird feeder in at night, at dusk, and put it out at the crack of dawn in the morning. So they give a warm breakfast to get started for the day. That first meal is important because hummingbirds conserve energy in the night by falling into a sleep so deep they sometimes flip upside down. Their metabolism drops drastically, as does their body temperature. It takes up to an hour to fully wake, and when they do, they're hungry. They are totally tough little birds, and they roost in my, um, I know that they're, they puff up really big at night, and they're in my arbutus tree. And I can hear them, they're the first ones up in the morning, and straight to the hummingbird feeder. Hummingbirds get their fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals from insects, but nectar is essential for energy. Once you start feeding them, they depend on you to keep their nectar fresh and their feeder free of black mold but it's worth the effort. They mean joy. They're just so cute. They're like little helicopters. I love them. They're my favorite bird. Amazing creatures. Well, is hockey without hitting still a 